why do you think the woman is so <laughs> Well, I explain this in my book more, but it's more along the lines of guys need to stop pedestalizing girls that don't deserve the pedestalization. Because a lot of girls come in and just use guys for certain things, and guys need to be able to identify that and not pedestalize those types of predatory females. Okay, but don't you think that women do the same thing, like vice versa? Like, what do you mean by that? The same way. Right? Like some men, women, pedestalize men that treat them poorly, right? For even like monetary reasons. So but I think it just happens are there some women getting finessed by men? Of course, but yeah. the majority of people getting finessed are absolutely men. I mean, there's not an epidemic of, you know, guys running around getting free dinners from women. But there is a whole trend of women getting free dinners from guys that they don't like. But I think there's a whole trend of women getting finessed by men who promise them a lot of things initially and then they have sex with them and then these women end up, and I know these women, right? Like yeah. They end up feeling very used and abused and these men, I know because I'm friends with them, right? Like yeah. They end up feeling very empowered by the fact that they're able to use women for whatever reason they can. So I feel like there's an epidemic on both sides. Just well, the thing is, is that the women pick the men. They pick the, they pick the wrong guys. They pick the bad boys. They pick the guys that are tall and good looking, right. that make money. Okay, but then men pick women, right, that are very good looking and they seem like... Most guys don't select. They take what they can get. I would say... The majority. If we're talking about, like, the top 1% of men, right, like, they select women based on appearance. Yeah. Same way where the top 1% of women select men. But that's a minority. Same way women who are able to have, like, a general choice of men with monetary value... That's the minority of women. They are not able to select men who genuinely are able to provide for them in a foundation. Not true at all. Average women have way more reach and access and leverage in dating than even a celebrity man. An average woman can go pull a celebrity. An average guy can't. An average woman can go pull a celebrity to just sleep with him. Which this is true. He has access, though. That's my point. The access but, uh, is what opens the door. Okay, but access yes. to just having sex with someone for a woman, for most women, I would say, is not something that they genuinely... Want. Well, it's her job. Like, like, they're using that as an opportunity to have access to the man in a form of having some intimate, in form of a relationship. That's At least like they get their foot in the door is what I mean. They get access and the ability to even deal with these men versus the other way around. Men would never have that opportunity. But I would say that women are absolutely running loops around guys when it comes to dating and the sexual marketplace, whereas men are not. Only a minority of men are able to finesse, but a majority of women can absolutely finesse, is what I'm trying to say. Extract value from the opposite gender while not necessarily reciprocating. A, ma a majority of women are able to do that versus a majority of men are not. Does that make sense? Yes, no, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. I don't know. They absolutely can. I mean, this is just the fact. If you were to walk around right now and ask guys, hey, do you want a date? They'd go out with you. Versus if I did it, I would maybe get maybe out of 100 girls, maybe 5 or 10. If you asked 100 dudes, you'd get 90. We're not the same. And I'm a celebrity. So let that sink in. I'm just trying to demonstrate a point that an average woman has more market pull than even a top tier guy. And that's just the way it is. Your goal overall is to what? Make men have... Well, understand their value and stop simping on women. That's okay, really what it comes down to. I don't think most men are simping on women. I think really? I genuinely, genuinely, I think that most men just like their ability to take advantage of most women. Like, you know, if that were the case, of, we wouldn't have a sprawling pornography industry that we have now. If that wasn't the case, we wouldn't have so many guys struggling to get dates and courtship, etc. I think the pornography industry in general is something that catalyzes men into objectifying women but, but, in terms of... But it's success exp it proves my point. Like, the reason why so many guys use porn and why it's so ubiquitous in society today is because of men's struggle with women. That's precisely a big part of it. A lot of guys are simps. Okay, well, I would say a lot, the reason why a lot of women don't use pornography as a term... Because they don't need to. No, not because they don't need to. But because they genuinely don't, they feel very objectified already in society where for them, when a woman has sex with another man, she's already like demeaned in a certain way. He has taken yeah. something from her. So I think that a reason why it's more prevalent for men to use pornography than women is because for men, it's more accepted than it is for women. If no, a I woman mean, watches pornography, then she's immediately already lesser than. Women need more of an emotional connection, which is why men like porn a lot more than women do. So... That, well, look, my statement is this, most men are simps, and my proof for that is the sprawling pornography industry, OnlyFans, these models, etc. 
like sex sells and women are able to leverage their sexuality in compliance, whether it's resources, time, or whatever, because a lot of guys are simps and don't understand their value. Versus, I know you made the argument, well, a lot of women simp on men. That's a staggering minority. Versus a majority of men are simp. Absolutely, that club right now, there's a bunch of women in there that are getting free drinks as we speak, right? Because these guys don't understand their value and don't understand that women need to earn that value. But guys don't have the same ability to understand females as women understand men. You guys know what we want, and we kind of know what you guys want, but most guys fail. So that's why I'm saying a lot of guys are simps. Again, you... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Can, I, can I make a point? Yeah, go ahead. What is your argument specifically? That most guys, when you say simps, yes. I would say most guys specifically are very hungry for a sexual connection with women. And for that sexual connection with women, they are willing to go above and beyond. And simp. Whereas most women, they are hunting for something more. And so even though most men will be able to get that sexual connection from women, women... They can't even get that. But... That's what I'm trying to tell you. They can't even get that. That's why porn is so popular. They can't even get that. An average guy that's 18 to 21 is either sexless or a virgin. I'm telling you. Hasn't had sex in a year. Like, men struggle with this stuff. But you, I, And I don't expect you to know this because you're a woman. It doesn't matter to you. But a lot of guys struggle with that type of stuff. No, I don't think that you're crazy. I just think that the struggle men have with receiving some sort of sexual access does not the fact that a lot of women struggle with getting something that's more than just a sexual action, especially today's, in today's society. With pornography escalating and everything, yeah. where a lot of women, especially the ones that I talk to, who are not able to receive more from a man because what they are taught, especially by watching a lot of stuff and rhetoric online, where the more sex you have with women and the more that shows your ability to be a man, right? And so I think that rhetoric is the same way that men are... It's not at all. It's not at all. Like, the, the whole, the dating market, you're trying to argue that it's symmetrical and men have the I same, not at all. Way. Women I have far more opportunity than men do. Far more. Opportunity for what? To meet higher status men and potentially get in a relationship with them. Yes, those men might look at them as a sexual object yes, only. But, but you but, know that. You know that yeah, most of them however, will be looking at them. However, it does not refute the fact that the woman gets the ability to have airtime with the guy and prove him wrong. Why does airtime matter if you already know the Because results? you get the opportunity to prove him wrong. You can show... I am different from these other girls versus I'm saying men don't even get the opportunity. So I always say, privilege is invisible to those that have it. And women have a privilege to be able to at least meet these men, talk to these men, and get a feel. Where versus a guy, he can't even get in the door most of the time unless he's a somebody.